Hey guys, how are you? It's Jean Watts. Happy New Year. I was going to do a couple other videos, but I got so many requests off of the last reel I did with like the Euphora inspired diamond eye look. So I figured I would recreate that look for you guys and actually do a better job because I did it super fast. So. First, I'm going to prep my skin and I'm going to use Bobbi Brown's Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Okay, so I just put on Bobbi Brown's Enriched Face Base. Okay, so for the foundation, I'm going to pair up Lancome's Ultra Tint Foundation. And I'm also gonna add in their Lancome's Custom Strobing Drop. And I'm gonna take this heart-shaped palette that from my girl Lena Zuniga. I love this thing on my hand. So I'm gonna take three pumps of the foundation and I'm gonna drop, I'm just taking it and I'm tapping this shimmer. Now that I have the foundation and the strobe droplets, I'm going to mix them in together with a brush like this. And I'm gonna apply this everywhere. I am so excited that Euphoria 2 is finally out. I I think it's one of my favorite shows. That and Stranger Things. Okay, so now that I have the foundation kind of just smeared everywhere, I'm going to take my beauty blender that I just wet and I'm gonna set it all. Okay, so now that I just put all the foundation on, I am gonna do concealer. I'm kind of annoyed because I ran out of the concealer that I always use and I made a note to myself that I was gonna go to Sephora and get new concealer before I did this video and totally forgot. So I am going to use my backup, which I still love. And it's the Matte Studio Pro, I wanna say it's called. I'll link it in the caption below. Okay, so I'm going to take my a brush like this and I get some product on there. I, I very roughly put that on. So I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender, okay. So now that I have the concealer on, I am now going to do some contour. Okay, so for contour, I'm gonna use my Patrick Ta for face, which is the bronzing, bronzing cream and the powder. And this time I'm gonna do something a little different than I usually did before. But I'm gonna take the bottom of my beauty blender and I'm gonna dab the cream. And I'm gonna start dabbing it where I want it. So I want it underneath my cheekbone. So I feel like it just really effortlessly contours where I want it. And I'm gonna go underneath. Okay, so now that I have the cream foundation and the concealer and the bronzer, I'm gonna do some cream blush. And I'm gonna take my Revlon Insta Blush that I got on Amazon. I just wanted to try it to see it. I love trying um, cheaper products along with nice ones, because sometimes you don't really need to spend that much money on good stuff. Um, so this kind of does its job. Okay, so I just put some of the blush, as you can see, and I'm gonna take the bottom of it, and I'm just gonna lightly blend it. Okay, to set all this cream that's on my face, I'm going to start with my bronzer, and I'm gonna use Patrick Ta's, the powder part of the bronzer, on a brush like this. And I'm gonna set this. Now oh, that I have the bronzer, I forgot about nose contour. I'm just gonna do it now. For the nose contour, obviously last time got a little weird. And so I'm going to use a cream and I'm going to take a brush like this. And I'm gonna go back in with the cream of the Patrick Todd bronzer. And I'm gonna put it on. See how I went down the nose and then up here. Now mind you, I like my nose. I don't want my nose to be this perfect little tiny nose. I just find makeup really fun and for this look, I just do it. I just I just like it. Some people don't need to take it so personally. Okay, so see how I go down the nose. Now I'm gonna go at the tip right here or underneath the tip, I guess. And then I'm gonna go across right here. Okay, 
So now that I have the contour on there, I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to start blending it a little bit. Okay, so now that I just did my nose contour, I'm going to take my Laura Mercier powder and my beauty blender and I'm going to put some product on there and I'm going to go on the sides of my nose. And then I'm going to go underneath the eyes just a little bit. I'm going to take the powder and go underneath here and up here. So now that I put some of the powder where I want it to go, I, I took my a brush like this and I put it on the side. I just feel like it got a little more accurate. I can do this up here, which I want. Okay. So now that I did that, I'm going to do my eyebrows. Okay, so for my eyebrows, I'm gonna take my spoolie that I got and it's Sonia Kashuk and it's an angled brown spoolie. So I'm gonna take my eyebrows and brush them up. I'm gonna take my Gerard Cosmetics Brow to Go in medium to ebony. And I'm gonna, I'm usually, I'm taking mostly the tip of this to kind of brush upwards. And I'm gonna take the, the flat of the brush, um, the brush flat, and kind of mess with the, straighten the arch a little bit. So what I've been kind of doing lately is kind of making this part a little thicker. So I kind of follow the top out so instead of just going straight down there, I'm kind of put brushing this outwards. I hate doing brows. Brows is by far my least favorite thing to do because each time I feel like I want to do them a little differently and it depends on the makeup and sometimes they never match and it's just sometimes I go too dark. It's annoying, so <sighs> the other one. <laughs> a few moments later. So now I'm going to go in just to kind of clean them up a little bit. I want to take my MAC concealer. I'm going to take a little... And you know, a brush like this, and I'm gonna lightly go underneath it. Now that that's done, I'm going to take my my NYX Control Freak, and this is my brow gel, and I'm going to brush these upwards and kind of lock these babies in. I'm gonna take my spoolie from my eyebrows and just kind of flatten these out just a tiny bit. Okay, cool. Now, I am going to add some colors to my cheek and I'm gonna use my MAC Gold Deposit and I'm going to use a brush like this and this is my RT brush in 201. I'm gonna get some product on there and just kind of go on the cheeks. Here and on the forehead. And I'm going to take my Tarte Blush in Party product on there, put on my cheeks, and on my nose. Okay. I'm gonna take this blush brush and just kind of lightly. So we have a nice clear slate on the face. So the fun part, the eyes. The main focus of this look is clearly the eyes. So for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna put a little. Okay, so for the eyes, I'm gonna start at the crease. I'm gonna do, oh, almost fell back. Okay, so the video I did, or like the first time I posted the look, I felt like I, no, I know I went really fast. I just wanted like the transition. So this time I'm gonna go be a lot more detail oriented about it and do a much better job. So I'm gonna start with the base color. So I'm using my Mac in Saddle and I'm gonna take a brush like this and I'm going to just start buffing it around the top and one of the tricks to kind of doing eyeshadow like my friend she will like take the brush and she pushes it too hard and that's what you know prevents her from getting really nice blended eyeshadow <laughs> so it's, it's very lightly gliding the top you're just like dusting it and that's how you get a more even and a, a nice blended eyeshadow. And then I'm gonna take the same color and I'm just gonna go underneath the eyes. Okay, so that's the first base. So it's just kind of like the base contour of the eyes. So now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a darker brown. 
and I'm going to use ColourPop's palette in Shiki. And this is from I Love uh, Sahari. Okay. And I'm using the color Freckles. So this is ColourPop's palette and I'm using this color right here and the color is called Freckles. So I'm gonna take the same brush and I'm gonna tap it on. And this is super pigmented, so I'm gonna go light about it. I'm gonna start dusting it outwards. The other side, and I'm going, I'm telling you, like so soft. So I'm gonna take a brush that doesn't have anything on it and just buff it around so we're not putting too much powder on there while I'm trying to blend it. Okay, so I'm gonna take the same brush as I did on the top with the same color right here. I'm just tapping it and I'm gonna go underneath. And again, I'm going so light. I'm not pushing down very hard. There was something in my eye, I had to get it out. Okay, so for the darker shade, so I'm gonna do the same thing with a smaller brush. So I'm now gonna go with this darker color right here and this is called Noche, Noche, something like that. But I'm gonna take a brush like this and I'm just gonna dab it very lightly and I'm gonna try to go on the crease. Crease of my eye. And you can feel like, you can push a little harder so you can see literally where your eye dents in. Okay, so once I created like inside the crease of my eye, I'm now gonna kind of lightly buff it. I'm gonna take the brush that I used with the light brown and kind of buff it to make sure that's super seamless. So this side does not look seamless. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take the brush that I put on the top. I'm not really gonna add that much more product to it. But I'm just lightly gonna go underneath the eyes because we can always add more later. Okay. So I'm gonna use the same brush, same color. I'm just gonna go a little darker. So I added a little more product and now I'm gonna buff it out again. And I, when I'm buffing it, I'm not pressing super hard. Okay. So now that I have this top blended area, now I'm gonna do the cut crease and this is my third time ever doing this. So I hope I do a good job explaining this. So I'm going to take my palette that I use on my hand here and I'm gonna just put some of my concealer and I'm using Tarte Concealer in shade Light Sand. And this is a very light concealer. So I put some concealer on there. Okay, so I'm gonna take this sharper, the sharper brush and I'm gonna go in with the concealer and I'm gonna start here. This is really hard, but. So I'm gonna, I'm starting at my lash line. Trying not to get this on my eyelashes while doing this on camera. I gotta do this a little off camera. Okay, so the way I'm doing it is I'm going here and going upwards. So because it's like the the eyelid part is a little farther out, I'm taking the concealer all the way out here. Okay, and I just try to take it up here to where my crease is, to my eye, and try to create a line all the way out. Okay, so that's the base on this eye. As you can see, now I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. So I feel like that's a nice uh, start. <laughs> I'm gonna take my concealer brush and just very lightly, you might not need to do this, but I just kinda wanna set it a little bit. Okay, I feel like that's somewhat pretty close. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm actually going to take my Laura Mercier powder and I'm just gonna set it. I don't know if this is the best decision, but I'm going to do it. So I'm taking a brush like this, which is like a flatter brush, and I'm gonna get some of my loose powder on here. And I'm just gonna set it because I'm about to put a bunch of eyeshadow on it and I don't want it to stick to the lid. Okay, so... I just set it. I am now gonna outline it. I think that's what I'm gonna do. 
Okay, so I'm gonna take my MAC eyeshadow in Embark, and it's a matte dark brownish purple. And I'm gonna take my Marc Jacobs brush in The Smudge, and it's this little, you know, sharper brush. And I'm gonna take some of the product on there, and I'm gonna try to outline on the outside of what I just did. And I'm gonna bring it here and then all the way here and down. Now the way I'm trying to blend it outwards is that I'm pressing, I'm putting on a little more pressure, obviously for the line, and to kind of blend it out, I'm like very lightly dusting it. I'm gonna take my brush that's like this and I'm gonna just try to blend it a little bit, focusing not on the crease. So this one I didn't do as gracefully. So I'm gonna take my darker shadow that I started with so this brush right here. And all I am is gonna focus on blending this because you see how it's like not blended. It's like I'm doing good on this side and this side sucks. Gosh. So to kind of, to, to what I'm trying to do to fix this, how it's not blending, is I'm taking my MAC saddle with the same brush because it's lighter and I'm just kind of going over it very lightly and I'm just buffing it and buffing it until I feel like it's okay enough to move on. Okay, so that's just gonna be it for now. Now I'm going to create more of a blended thing in the inside of this white part. So I'm going to take, so for this lid right here, I'm gonna go in with this color right here with this brush and I'm lightly dusting right here. So see how I created just like a little bit right there. Now I'm going to take this brush right here and this is Marc Jacobs brush with no name, but it's kind of like a fluffy brush, but it comes to like a point in a way. And I'm gonna go in with this dark color right here. And I'm gonna focus on the lash, the outer lash line right here. I'm just very lightly buffing it around there and the other side. Now I'm gonna take my brush that's like this, tap the dark part, and I'm gonna go around on my lash line. I actually probably should've done that first, but it's okay. Now I'm trying to blend this a little more. And I'm taking the same color, the same dark color in Noche, and I'm bringing it up here. So it gives that cat eye that we want. All right, so I tried cleaning some of it up with my concealer brush just for my own sanity. Again, I'm trying to blend this top half by just using my saddle brush and a fluffy brush. And I'm just continuing to buff it. You know what, too, I think it's gonna be good. I'm gonna take my smudge brush here. I'm just gonna bring it out a little more. There we go. Okay, so for the inner corners, I'm gonna use NYX eyeshadow in Diamond Lust. And it's like a shimmery, you can't really see it, but it's like a shimmery white color. And I'm gonna take a brush like this. And I'm taking it mostly on the side of it, not directly down. And I'm just gonna dab it right here. And I'm going so gentle with it to make sure that it's blending nice. And then to top that, I'm gonna take my favorite eyeshadow in Urban Decay in Space Cowboy. The same brush, put it on there. And I'm just dabbing it on because I just want it all on there. Now we're gonna do the eyeliner. So for the eyeliner, I'm gonna take my NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner in, and it's black and waterproof. And I'm gonna start on the sides here by following the line I just did on both sides, like that. And then I'm gonna follow it through. So I just did the tail sides on each end, and now I'm gonna follow it all the way through. So I went thicker here, and then I went thinner and faded outwards. Okay, so now that I did the liner, I'm gonna go in with my Marc Jacobs eyeliner in brownie. And I'm gonna go on the top lid with this and the bottom lid. I like using brown because I just feel like with blue eyes, black can just be really harsh. 
So I feel like a dark brown gives the same outline without it just overpowering the look too much. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the darker color. I'm gonna take my Marc Jacobs brush like this and I'm gonna go in with Embark. I'm gonna tap it and then I'm gonna go underneath the eye. All right, I'm also gonna go on the top lid. I'm gonna go all the way around here and I'm gonna try to buff it out right there to kind of give a little more depth to this liner. Okay, you see how I brushed it here and connected it back to the line that's right there. And now I'm gonna try to blend it just a little bit. I need some blending. Okay, so now that I have mostly the eyeshadow done, <laughs> so for the, for the mascara, I'm going to use two different mascaras and I'm going to use my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black and I'm also gonna use my L'Oreal Telesco Telescopic Carbon Black. So I'm going to start with my Voluminous Carbon Black and I'm gonna get it everywhere. You can put like lashes full on too, and that'd be really pretty. I just feel like with my eye shape, it's just, it's better to do the outside. Okay, so now that I did that, I'm gonna go in with my telescopic. See how much better this side is than this side? Oh, whatever. I'm gonna take my carbon black one and I'm gonna go underneath. Okay, so now that I have the mascara, I'm now gonna put the lashes on the outside that I always use, and these are Ardell in 318. And I just feel like these go really well with my type of eyelashes. They add more without looking super fake. Okay, and then I took my Duo Blue and Black, and I'm gonna get some glue on there. So I'm gonna put this on this eye. All right, and I just put it on the outside, see how it kind of lifts it and extends the eye. I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, so now that I have the lashes and the eyeshadow for the most part now, it's the jewelry. Actually, maybe I'll do that last. Okay, before the diamonds, I'm going to put my lips on. For my lips, I'm gonna do them a little differently than the one I posted a picture of because I just love it. I could have done it a little better. So I'm taking this lip stuff. This is called Boutique Lip Liner in Mocha. It's just like a dark mauve. I've had it forever. And I'm gonna outline my lips. I outline my lip and now I'm gonna take Huda Beauty and this is in Ritzy and it's a lip gloss. So pretty. <laughs> and I'm gonna go back a little more with my lip liner. Okay, so that's the lips that I would do with this. So I need to do some highlighter. So for highlighter, I'm going to take my Anastasio Glow Kit and I'm gonna take uh, this summer color right there and a brush like this and put some on there. Get some on my cheekbone. And I like to bring it all the way around. And I like to take my finger and dab it. I like to put it on my tip and then right here on the bridge of my nose. And I'm going to, with this highlighter, I'm just going to take a brush like this. doesn't really matter. I'm going to go with the same highlighter and I'm going to outline above on my brow bone. And then the inside right here. Try not to mess up my line right there. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm going to do the diamonds. So I got these, I got these rhinestones on Amazon and they come with different sizes. So they got big ones, small ones, medium ones. I'm gonna go in with the absolute tiniest ones right here. And I'm gonna take my clear duo glue and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little glue out like that. I just do right there. Now there's some jewel applicators that work really good for this. I don't have it. So I'm going to use my tweezers which is gonna be real fun. All right, so I'm gonna sprinkle a little of these diamonds out. So I'm gonna do it a really bad way. And I'm grabbing, grabbing the rhinestone. You know, that's the face, that's the, that's the shiny part. This is the bottom. Okay, so I'm lightly dabbing the glue. And I'm gonna start at the tip right here. Ah! Too much glue. 
It's okay. I'm just gonna dry clear. Okay, and then do the other side. Okay, you see how there's like a lot of glue, but it'll dry clear. Okay, so we got those two. Okay, spacing these, I'm gonna put it right here. So I want these to be on the line, not like above or below. Now I'm going all the way down until I reach the tip of this line. So now that I have it all the way around the top, I'm not only putting like one here, like three or four just right here where the white part of my eyeshadow is. Okay, so I'm starting by going right in the middle of my eye. And then I'm gonna work my way down. Okay, so I'm gonna let those dry. So here is the finished look. And yeah, this is really fun. I love putting rhinestones and sparkles and all that fun stuff on my eyes. So this was really cool. Okay, so here is the finished look. So it's very shimmery, very sparkly, very fun. I hope you guys have learned something. I love this look, it's really cool. And yeah, so have a great day. Thanks for watching. I will link all of the products as much as I can in the caption below. Um, let me know what you guys think or what I should do next. Um, I have a bunch of new ideas, but this, just, this one kind of came out of nowhere. So yeah, so thanks for watching guys. See you later.